Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bull Ring presented by Race Face Digital. I'm Alan Dietz along with Jess Ballard. And what a show we've got today. Really? Yeah. Again? We, listen, William Byron, leading cup winner, is going to join us. Yes. Uh, talk about his uh, shot at the NASCAR championship and his short track plans. Kyle Bonsignor, he's doing the triple at Thompson this weekend at the World Series. He's going to tell us about that. Kevin Weber from the Hendrick Engine Shop is going to be here. Hunter Wright to talk about Nashville Pro Late Models this weekend. And the great Gary St. Amont. No, you no, you weren't kidding. This is a, it's a th- this is an, an all-star lineup. Yeah, and I can't wait to talk to Gary. You know, he's won Winchester, the All-American Snowball Derby. Um and he's going to be the Grand Marshal for the Winchester 400 here coming up a little over a week from now. I personally think he is short track racing's sweetheart. Whatever yeah. whatever Rodney calls me, that's actually Gary. <laughs> well, some would disagree with that. And you know what? Uh, exciting news uh, coming out uh, earlier this week, uh, June 15th and 16th, 2024, Xfinity and the NASCAR Cup Series at Iowa Speedway. Yes. I have actually been there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's so cute. They got corn on the wall. Yeah, that's And they got a lot of corn around the racetrack, that's, too. Yep. <laughs> and uh, it's a short track coming onto the schedule. Uh, there's been a lot of talk that the Roval's going away and the second oval race in Charlotte's coming back, which I personally think will be better with this car. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you hear about Montreal and some other stuff. We already know about the Brickyard coming back. So... How exciting. Um, exciting stuff in the NASCAR Cup Series. But this weekend, we're going to have some excitement. The World Series, one of the New England's biggest races of the year at Thompson. Kyle Bonson, yours, is going to join us next to tell us all about it. Welcome to Race Face Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Raceface Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. The 61st Annual Sunoco World Series returns to Thompson Speedway October 6th through 8th. See the biggest short track racers in the Northeast compete in over 10 divisions of grassroots racing. The Outlaw Open Modifieds go for $10,000 to win on Saturday, and the NASCAR Wayland Modified Tour returns for 150 laps on Sunday. It's the World Series of Stock Car Racing October 6th through 8th at Thompson Speedway. For more information, go to acttour.com. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. I'm Chad Canales, and you're watching Racing America. Welcome back to the Bull Ring, presented by Race Face Digital. Now, I'm going to get with you this afternoon, and of course, this weekend, uh, the great World Series at Thompson Motorsports Park. Uh, coming up, Thompson Speedway Motorsports Park up in Connecticut. And joining us now, a driver who is going to be very busy this weekend on the pole is Kyle Bonsignor. And Kyle, first off, thanks for joining us. And uh, I thought you were going to be racing Saturday and Sunday, but you told me yesterday you're going to try to do it all three days. Yeah, that's the plan as of right now. It uh, doesn't seem like Mother Nature is looking to be cooperative on that, but that's in the New plan. In New England this year? Yeah, no. I know, right? It seems like it's the the rainforest up there, the way the the weather's been. But yeah, so uh, planning on running uh, Friday night and Saturday night in uh, an open show car that I run in the Tri Track series up there, and then Sunday in the the Wheel and Modified Tour car that I own. So if everything works out, it'll be a lot of fun, and I'll be really busy every day. So that's the that's the plan as of right now. 
I love asking this question because we kind of get mixed uh, responses, but in a big weekend like this where you're racing three days in a row, by the time Sunday rolls around, are you in a better spot because you have more laps or are you in... Exhausted. Yeah, or are you exhausted? I think, uh, well, especially at a track like Thompson, so there are not a lot of races on Thompson every year. It's not like there's a local weekly division that runs there i think so far this year there might have been five races total to this point so the track changes a lot from year to year whether it loses grip or gets another bump somewhere um so i think running that many laps before the tour race on sunday um does nothing but help uh, actually last year uh i believe last year Eric Goodell ran all three nights and he came in and pitted on like lap five of the tour race for an adjustment. And he drove from last to first won the race, like Mm -hmm. just completely killed us. And I, you can't tell me that what he learned Friday night and Saturday night didn't help him, you know, make that call to come in and say, Hey, this thing's not going to be anywhere near as good at the end of the race with the way it's driving right now. You know, it's, it had to have helped just, you know, with whatever experiences he had the prior two nights. So I think it'll do nothing but help. Um, it is obviously a little different motor, different car, completely uh, same type of chassis, but different actual car. So there are some variables, but uh, at a track like Thompson, the more seat time that you can get, the better, uh, whether it's just from one year to the next or from a hot weather to cold weather, because it does change a lot, especially with the older pavement. Um, this weekend, of course, we're talking to Kyle Bonsignor about the uh, World Series at Thompson Speedway Motorsports Park. You can order your pay-per-view coverage now here on Racing America for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and get a bundle. And remember, the NASCAR Wheeling Modified Tour race uh, will be on flow on Sunday. Uh, were you able to get to North Wilkesboro this past week? Yeah, we were there. We ran, uh, we, we didn't have the best results. Um, it seemed like from the drop of the green flag, just nothing went right. Uh, but it was a really cool event. I'm really excited. Hopefully they have us back next year after they repave it because, uh, it was, uh, extreme single lane racing, which Mm -hmm. is never, it's never fun to participate in. It might be fun to watch when you got, you know, tires passing guys that are not on tires, um Kyle, but it's, it's yeah. not fun to watch it's not, okay there you go no. so at least i'm not alone there but we were there um but uh it just like you know our, our first pit stop the the pit gun jammed and we had to make two pit stops and then it seemed to be on the rebound we got all the way back up to six with uh two restarts left in the race and then we just got freight train back to like 15th 16th and then I was actually really fortunate not to be in that massive wreck at the end, uh, but we ended up like 20th or 21st because we just uh, were trying some pitch strategy and it didn't work out. So Well, it was a standalone event, and I thought, uh, based on everything I saw with the crowd, it looked like everything went great, so I'd be shocked if you guys aren't back there. Uh, oh, yeah the, yeah, the fans were incredible. They They were really just great during every part of the day. I mean – they had, you know, the, that was had to be the longest, uh, like they do the the autograph session before the race. That had to be the longest line I've ever seen at any track, which always means they're into it. So yeah, that's that awesome. was cool. Well, Kyle, good luck this weekend. Uh, hopefully the weather will, will square itself out. But uh, I know you're going to be busy, and uh, we're looking forward to watching you. Yes, sir. I'll be there. Friday and Sunday looks good. Saturday seems to be the big uh, wild card right now. So that means Sunday you could be really busy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sunday could be uh, really early <laughs> to really late. So, That's right. Uh, but I'll be there no matter what. All right, man. Good luck. All right. Thanks, Alan. All righty. That's Kyle Bonson. You're again. You'll be able to watch the World Series at Thompson Speedway Motorsports Park this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Order your pay-per-view coverage now to watch on Racing American again NASCAR Wheeling Modified Tour, that'll be on Flow on Sunday. When we come back, we are going to talk to the leading driver in the NASCAR Cup Series playoff. That is William Byron. He'll be here on the Bull Ring after this.
Ready to take your brand to the next level? At Victory Lane Design, we can help. If you are looking for a professional website, cutting edge logo, a hero card that separates you from the pack, or video production to keep you connected with your fans, then check out VictoryLaneDesign.com, where winning counts. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. Hensville Fairground Speedway roars back to life for the second annual Pastime Family Night, Saturday, October 7th. Kids 12 and under are free, and adult tickets are just 15 bucks. Plus, special discounts for seniors and military, backpack giveaways, great racing action, and so much more. Catch Pro Late Models, Big Machine Vodkas by Cooler Super Trucks, Outlaws, and all six quarter mile divisions as they battle it out at America's favorite short track. Get your tickets to the best family fun in Nashville at NashvilleFairgroundSpeedway.Racing. Hey, I'm William Byron, and you're watching Racing America. Glad to have you here with us on the Bull Ring, presented by Race Space Digital. Alan Dietz, Jess Ballard here with you. And the road to the cup this year may go through Hendrick Motorsports mm -hmm. and William Byron, who is joining us now. William has had a heck of a season, the leading winner in the NASCAR Cup Series, coming off a runner-up finish at Talladega. And uh, if nothing else, William, I know you were probably a little bit disappointed, but uh, Aaron, that was probably a, a good day for her. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, definitely a good good finish for us and uh, happy for Ryan, you know, if if we can't win and, and a teammate can't win, then I guess he's a, he's a good one to, to win. So, uh, yeah, happy for him. And, and, uh, it was, you know, any day you can get out of Talladega with a good solid finish and all four tires rolling. It's a, it's a good day. So I was happy about our, our day. Yeah. Congratulations. And speaking of the road to the cup, that's what we call this segment, right? Yeah. Road to the cup. I'll yeah. have to check again. But yeah. <laughs> I think it's so awesome. Um, as we're heading into, uh, big short track races that it's the time of year we got Winchester the All-American the Snowball Derby so awesome that we have you know really competitive guys on the cup level such as yourself and and Chase entering into these events I mean you've entered into the some of the other events throughout the season but um, it's really cool to have you guys participating on this level and for the fans that you know follow you in the cup series but may not know much about the short tracks. Tell us a little bit why it's important to you to run these races. Yeah, I think it's just something that I always enjoyed growing up. Um, I didn't get a lot of experience in some of those races over the course of my career, just because I progressed into different series and was kind of focused on that, those races. But I feel like uh, late model racing has always been home for me and it's always been a good way to, to get, experience and and then have fun enjoy myself and uh there's a lot of good competition so i think um those races are always just important to me and uh obviously i personally want to win those races uh some of those big ones and and be able to you know have those uh those trophies to look back on in those memories so it's um yeah definitely still a quest to win the snowball and and uh you know, winchester 400 unfortunately that one doesn't really line up with our schedule but uh there's tons of good races out there to to do in late models we uh we got the news uh earlier that uh iowa speedway is going to be joining the cup series schedule in 2024 and i know uh you've had some experience there through xfinity and the truck series and things of that nature what kind of race do you do you think that'll put on i mean do you think it'll be like richmond or or is iowa got its own intricacies that'll make that race unique in and of itself i think it could be a really good event um i feel like i was one of those places that 
races really well. Um, even with the old style cars, you know, it, it still widens the track out and you can run the top and the, the middle and the bottom. So I haven't seen that place, you know, it hasn't been raced in a couple of years um, for, for NASCAR series and, you know, just IndyCar has been there the last couple of years, but hopefully with this next gen car, I think that's the perfect racetrack for, for the next gen car to, to have success, just multiple grooves, multiple lanes. And um, I think it could be a really, really great event. So um, I'm excited for it. When I saw it announced, I, I, uh, you know, text my crew chief and, and told him about it. Cause I'm, I'm excited. We, we had good success there in the past and the trucks and Xfinity. So it'll be fun to go back. Um, before we hopped on here, you mentioned you're getting some sim time in, um, how, how much of that sim time do you guys realistically get before heading into a race weekend? We, uh, you know, we try to structure it based on what tracks are important to us and, and also what tracks we can use the simulator for, for knowledge. And, uh, you know, Charlotte Roble is not really one that we're using much of it for, cause we feel like we have a good notebook for road courses, but, uh, you know, definitely, definitely going, looking forward to Las Vegas and Homestead. We're using it quite a bit. So, um, we've been in there a couple hours this week and, um, you know, a couple hours yesterday and today. So it's uh, definitely a good tool. I feel like Chevy gives us all the resources there to, to have success. So it's nice. You know, back on the on the short track stuff and you coming up through the ranks, kind of hitting on what Jess was saying, um, you did have a, a pretty unique climb up the ladder because you didn't ever stay in anything more than a year or two. Would would you recommend that to a young driver coming up through late models or, or um or do you think it would have changed anything in your development in the cup series? Had you had a couple more years in, in some other form as you were cl coming up? I think the best thing somebody could do growing up, which I've been asked about a lot actually recently, is, is just diversity in, in what they race. You know, I feel like having diversity in, in how they, which cars they race, what competition, um, you really need to expose yourself to a lot of different environments to be successful. You know, you can't, you can't just stay at one track or one car or one division and continue to race against those guys because it's just not, it's not that way at the cup level, you know, at the cup level with technology, with the amount of driver talent that there is uh, there's, there's no way to overcome, you know, just having one niche kind of thing that you're good at. So it's um you know, it's really important to diversify yourself and uh, take the time that you need to learn because you know, it, it doesn't get any easier when you go through the ranks. So it's only going to get tougher to, uh, to win races. And, um, you know, you just have to really test yourself in a lot of different environments, uh, give yourself confidence when needed. You know, you can't always be against the, the most difficult competition because that's going to, uh, to be difficult to, to learn what you need to do at the front of the field. So it's, um it's really a tough, a tough challenge, but the best thing you can do is, is race a lot of different cars. Well, Jeff Gordon changed the game, uh, you know, whenever he came up into the Xfinity series and cup series and, and, uh, you've definitely set the bar, I think, as far as, uh, coming up through the, the ranks and development, congratulations on a heck of a year. We're proud of you. And, uh, we look forward to seeing you down at the Derby. Yeah. Thanks guys. I'll, I'll see you guys down there. Looking forward to that. All right. That's William Byer and burning it up in the cup series this year when we come back we'll take racing across america sri performance and stock car steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines they have everything to put you in victory lane from professional racing to street performance sri and stock car steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel aluminum and plastics with locations in north carolina and indiana access has never been easier sri has the world's largest inventory of used parts SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shop for everything racing. The 61st Annual Sunoco World Series returns to Thompson Speedway October 6th through 8th. See the biggest short track racers in the Northeast compete in over 10 divisions of grassroots racing. The Outlaw Open Modifieds go for $10,000 to win on Saturday 
And the NASCAR Wayland Modified Tour returns for 150 laps on Sunday. It's the World Series of Stock Car Racing, October 6th through 8th at Thompson Speedway. For more information, go to acttour.com. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. <laughs> Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. So I flipped a lot in quarter midgets just because that's what it's going to be. That's just what they are. Uh, I flipped over one time in a super late model, um, and it was in Concord when they used to race out there. And uh, I was probably 17, 18 at the time. And uh, it, was, it wasn't like a barrel rollover. Um, it was like a slow, there was a wreck in front of me, and we're creeping through there, and I kind of like climbed a guy's tire, and it was a slow turnover going 10 mile an hour. And uh, that was just like a, are you kidding me? This happened? Like, you, you know, you don't expect to end up on your roof creeping through a wreck and just the way it happened. So it stuck at the time, but looking back on it now, it's like, man, that was the most anticlimactic rollover I've ever had. Always glad to have you here with us on the Bull Ring today, sponsored by Race Face Digital. And Jess, it's uh, it's great to see you. Look, uh, you look well. Was that a punch? What? Oh, thank I'm you. Just make it a compliment. Thank you. You also look well. Well, thank you. I thought you. that was there's a punch line there. No, I was just trying to be nice. All right. Well, what time is it? Oh, uh, um. The highlights. All right. Shaban, you got me thrown off. I know. <laughs> you you don't handle compliments very well. I don't. All right. Let's go racing across America, starting with the Show Me the Money series at Montgomery Motor Speedway in Alabama on Saturday. JoJo Wilkinson and Jonathan Knee on the front row after the invert. Knee in the 25 eventually leading the first lap. And from there, uh, he skint his knee of, uh, entering turn one, 53 laps to go. Uh, he moves up the racetrack, allows Hunter Robinson to slip by for the lead. And from there, the skin just kept ripping off that knee because he spins in turn three with 12 laps to go, collecting Colin Allman in the 67 and others. Had to have a play on words. No, that right? was good. That was good. Yeah, thanks. It wasn't delivered very well. But anyway, Robbins leads the rest of the way for the win while Christopher Tullis takes his uh, third Show Me the Money championship. Uh, Wiscasset Speedway in Maine, late model sportsman. Frank Moulton and the 09 of Silas Ripley up front for the start, with Moulton taking the early advantage. Taking a long way around here, the 78 of Tiger Colby bypasses Moulton to take the top spot. Colby leads the rest of the way for the win over Will Collins and Moulton. How about this? Anderson Speedway, Indiana, the Ford Triathlon, which featured figure eight, reverse oval and oval features that's where the triathlon came about oh cow. yep here we're looking at the oval feature and the 01 of matthew benzenbauer takes the early lead problems for the 62 of stephen vickery taking him out of contention benzenbauer maintains a small lead and takes the win but the battle was for second 95 of michael fitz he's pretty good at swimming too prevails in a three-way battle to finish second like that hilarious uh also saturday lee usa speedway in new hampshire Oktoberfest, the ridge runners Derek mckean and the one car in the 14 of tyler lerman lead the field to green contact between the two of david cameron and the 23 of dwight souther jr cuts the left rear tire down on souther and eventually leads him to spinning i put spending but I saw you know, that. same deal In a well, <laughs> yeah yeah both Cameron loses the lead with a flat tire, and the 53 of Nick Wilson moves past Kyle Richardson for the lead. Wilson holds on for the win over Lerman and Mike Dube. And Sunday, Lee USA Speedway again for Oktoberfest Day 3. 
Granite State Pro Stock Series, Ryan Green in the 93 and the 12 of Corey Bubar on the front row for the Pasowski Properties 150 with Bubar going out front. Just over 100 laps to go. The double zero of Jimmy Renfrew Jr. gets by Bubar on a restart. While working lap traffic with 53 laps to go, Bubar retakes the lead from Renfrew. 31 laps to go, Derek Griffith stops on the track, ending his hopes of claiming the back to front challenge. Bubar leads the rest of the way to claim the $8,500 winner's check over Renfrew and Green. There you go. Yep. And fill you in on a couple of other races uh, that we didn't have on our air when Racing America this week, weekend, but were with our partners. Uh, of course, the Thunder uh, Road International Speed Bowl had the milk bowl. We talked about kissing with the, the cow. cow. Yep. Uh, Stephen Donahue got to kiss the cow. Wow. Um, Good for and, him. Yep. And how about DJ Shaw making it two in a row in the past Super Late Models? Look at him go. Yeah, it was a slow start, but... Uh, but he, why don't you get that monkey off your back? Yeah. It's a done deal. Or the cow off your front. That's right. Whatever it is. That's right. <laughs> How about our next guest, Jess? How excited are you about Columbus's own? Oh, H. Gary St. Amont. Gary St. Amont. He is one of my favorites. Well, no, I, period. That was the end of that statement. And I'm really glad to have someone from my neck of the woods on the show. Yeah. Because that gonna, never happens. Well, he's going to be the Grand Marshal for the Winchester 400 coming up here on Racing America in a little over a week. He'll join us when we come back. Back when you were a kid, you got to sit in your favorite race car. When that engine fired out, it did something. It excited you. It motivated you. All of us wanted to go fast, live on the edge, and we all got hurt seeking the ultimate thrill. If you play your cards right and work hard through that blood, sweat, and tears, you're finally living that dream. You are racing. It's about going as fast as you possibly can, reaping every ounce of that hard work. Some will prevail, some will not. For most, it'll be a teachable moment at the toughest third mile. In the Autumn Colors Classic at Peterborough Speedway, the baddest drivers in the land come to prove they're the best. This is a family tradition. This is the 30th running of the APC Autumn Colors Classic, October 6th, 7th, and 8th. Presented by Toronto Motorama. Ready to take your brand to the next level? At Victory Lane Design, we can help. If you are looking for a professional website, cutting edge logo, a hero card that separates you from the pack. Or video production to keep you connected with your fans. Then check out VictoryLaneDesign.com, where winning counts. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. <laughs> Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. Great to have you back here with us on the Bull Ring, presented by Race Space Digital. Jess and Alan here with you. Jess, you know, we maybe we could get a, a Race Space Digital card for you. Oh, we should. Yeah, I'm going And another person that I think should have one. Well, he's actually here with us, and yeah. it's our ASA list personality here with us this weekend. Former Winchester 400 winner and this year's Winchester 400 Grand Marshal, of course, the great Gary St. Amont. And, Gary, I, I just got to say, and I mentioned it right before we came on, but I love the T-shirt. I know it's one of Jess's favorites. <laughs> I love it too, Gary. Yeah, I, I had 
<laughs> yeah, I had some good times there, and I, I I know you guys had some good times there too. That's true. We can bo- we can all bond over that. Uh, well, speaking of yeah. speaking of Travis, uh, when we saw the news the other day that you were going to be the grand marshal, Travis sent it to me, and he w- and I know we're biased. Okay, for those of you that don't know, Gary used to be one of Travis's crew chiefs. Uh, they had so much fun together. From Great the success Columbus area, like from you. Columbus. I'm also from Columbus. Yep. I was not around at the time, but what does do, did you get your job description yet? Like, what what does one what's your day look like being the Grand Marshal of the Winchester the 400? Director, right, Gary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to be signing some autographs um, on Saturday and Sunday both, and uh, you know, just just be there, kind of helping, you know, promote the race just a little bit, but. I, I told him the only way that I could do it is I, I, I have my other job that I have to do also, which uh, I'm going to be Jordan's, Jordan Riddick's crew chief uh, for the weekend. So, you know, I, I told him, you know, I still have that, that sickness, you know, I, I still want to win races. And, yeah. and, and to me, Winchester with the 400 is, is the biggest one to win. Well, when, when you think about it, you know, the all American 400 now was technically a 300 lap race to snowball is a 300 lap race, but Winchester 400 is a true 400 lap race on maybe one of the toughest short tracks there is out there. I mean, how would you describe uh, the 400 and the ones that you were able to win? Well, uh, you know, you go back over the years and it was really more of a survival race back then. You know, we've, we, we've got the car so good now. You know, the, the way the race is set up, you can make changes during the race and, and, and not lose a lot of position, you know, the, the way the pit stops are. And, uh, you know, nowadays you'll, you'll see three or four or five, five, five cars on the lead lap at the end of the race. So, you know, back in the day, I think I beat Tim Sauter for, for my second win. It was just me and him on the lead lap. So, uh, you know, the, the, the competition is, is definitely, you know, tough now tougher than what it was back then is as far as how many cars are there at the end of the race but uh still to, to, to be able to run 400 laps at winchester and be there at the end you know you you don't matter if you finish first through 10th you you complete 400 laps there and you've you've earned your day's worth of work that's right and and i love i'm a transplant down here okay me too well no you're okay so people from up where we're from gary you know, you got all the crown jewels, but Winchester is the one that's most important to us. I would say Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, that area. And, like, yep. that's Travis's favorite trophy, the rifle. That's the most important one. And sometimes when I'm down here, I, like, talk about the Winchester 400, like it's the Daytona 500. And some people disagree with that. You know, they're like, oh, no. Um, the all American is the most important. So I appreciate everything you're saying here about this being so important to the racers in that area. Um, you know, people that were coming from Columbus motor speedway, this was their Daytona 500. And can you tell us for folks that have not been to me, this event, the racing's great. You're like, you said, it's, it's survival, but then you got the campground and you got the the <laughs> event, the the vibe. You mean there's campers as far as the eye can see. It's a party. You're spot on, Jess. And and I, I was I was lucky enough, you know, being a as, as a kid, you know, I went to Winchester and you know always had fun running around in the parking lots. And and then as I grew up, it, it became about the party. And uh, you know, I was in the middle of the party then, you know. When, once I got old enough to be, and uh, and then I was actually even lucky enough to be able to go there and race, and, and to be able to win the Winchester 400. I, 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 after you guys had asked me to be on the show, I, I started thinking about you know all the years that I've been going there, and, and to have lived, you know, I think I think I was there the first time. I was probably eight years old at Winchester. And, and, and to be able to, to go back at 60 years old and, and be the grand marshal of what I feel like is the biggest race or definitely one of the, one of the top three biggest races of the year. It's an honor. And, and, and I love, you know, promoting the racetrack. Charlie Shaw's a friend of mine. 
you know, he's a great guy and, and, and to me has, you know, the most unique, the most uh, exciting racetrack in the country right there at Winchester, Indiana. Well, we got a lot more that we could talk to you about, and I definitely want to talk to you about the ASA stars and, and you know, where you see it headed, but we're going to have to save that for another day. Let's I've, get him back on. Yeah, and I've also got a oh, story. Oh, have for me. G- yeah, I've got a story <laughs> for Gary, too, but uh, that's October 13th, 14th, and 15th, the Winchester 400 Winchester Speedway in Indiana. Again, Gary St. Amon will be the Grand Marshal. Gary, thanks so much for joining us, and uh, we'll have you back on real soon. We'll we'll bother you again. Very good. Thanks for having me, Alan, and uh, good to see you, Jeff. Tell good Travis to see I you. Said I. I will. All right. That's <laughs> Gary St. Amart, one of our favorites for sure. When we come back, we're going to tell you about a special program that we're going to have here coming up on November. We're going to talk with Kevin Weber with the Hendrick Engine Builder Show. Nashville Fairground Speedway roars back to life for the second annual Past Tiner Family Night, Saturday, October 7th. Kids 12 and under are free, and adult tickets are just 15 bucks. Plus, special discounts for seniors and military, backpack giveaways, great racing action, and so much more. Catch Pro Late Models, Big Machine Vodkas by Cooler Super Trucks, Outlaws, and all six quarter mile divisions as they battle it out at America's favorite short track. Get your tickets to the best family fun in Nashville at NashvilleFairgroundSpeedway.Racing. Five-star bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market, aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials, tested tough for optimum performance, the highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five-star. Builders ready? Yep. Good deep breath. Yep. Breathe. Pull pack on that side. Build these racing engines, fire them up, get that sound, get that smell. It's a fun two days. Oh, yeah. We're good. We're good. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. (laughs) Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. Red Davey back here with us on the Bull Ring, presented by Race Space Digital. And coming up very soon, as a matter of fact, on November the 8th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. It's actually going to be a two-day event. It's going to be the Randy Dorton Hendrick Engine Builder Showdown, presented by Valvoline. You'll be able to watch it right here on RacingAmerica.tv or HendrickEBS.com. And joining us from the Hendrick Engine Shop right now is Kevin Weber and Kevin, first off, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Well, tell me a little bit um, about your background. I know you guys uh, have been pumping race win- winning engines out now for, what, 30-some-odd years, got 500 wins this year. Uh, you guys know how to make the horsepower for sure. Yes, sir. I've been there for 28 years. So I've been an assembler for 26 and just in the last couple of years starting our QC department. But I'm the director of the Randy Dorton Engine Builder Showdown from the Hendrick Motorsports side. And we have to say congratulations, 500 wins coming from the Hendrick engine shop. I mean, that is huge. It's incredible. Yeah, and to and to come at the same time as the 300 wins for the organization, I mean, it's just a testament to the powerhouse that Hendrick Motorsports is. And I've been, it's been really cool this season with, you know, Four Tires and Fuel, um, our show that kind of highlighted the pit crew's I think programs like this that highlight, you know, the groups of people that play a huge hand in the success of a team that maybe you don't see on TV, it's awesome to highlight them. Yes, exactly. And it's it's all started with Randy Dorton many, many years ago. And the dream he had and the engine shop that he put together, 
and all of us that have carried on after the plane accident that took so many of them. I mean, it's it's a real, it's a real, just wonderful thing that that we have carried it on and made it what it is today. Yeah. What? Well, yeah, and it's to me, it is a great uh, way to remember Randy every year, and I know he's uh, always close in your guys' thoughts. But you know, the thing that I love about it is you take you know one of your engine builders at Hendrick and right. pair them with a Hendrick certified master technician that's that's your everyday mechanic at a Hendrick automotive group dealership and they get to work hand in hand and I just think it's it's you know we always like to talk about bringing the grassroots and the cup series together and that's what we try to do here with race in America and it's no different with what you guys are doing over there no, to bring those guys in it is just a huge opportunity for them. They love it so much. They come from all over the country, and really only two of them could be in the championship, but all 12 of them have a wonderful time. It's something to go back and tell their families and their grandchildren about. It's just, it's just a really big, big deal. Yeah, I mean, that's that's so awesome because I know that there's so many people part of the, the Hendrick family that stretches beyond the shop there up the road in Concord. Um for the, what's one thing that um, you find really interesting about what you guys do that uh, maybe the fans watching at home every week don't know about what you do? Myself or at the engine shop in at general? At the engine shop in general, or yourself. I think I think when people <laughs> come through their fans, they have no idea what really goes on behind the scenes, how we make so many of our own parts, and just the people we have there. Um, like we go back to Rick and Randy. Uh, the people are what make the place definitely. We have a wonderful group of guys that do that work hard, do a great job, and people come through and see just how complicated it is really mm-hmm. behind the scenes. We're not a bunch of grease monkeys, you know. We're <laughs> a bunch of technicians that are highly skilled and good at their jobs. So, well, just let me tell you a little bit about it, and this is what you'll be able to see whenever you watch it, either here on uh, RacingAmerica.tv or HendrickEBS.com. Team's little symbol, a 350 cubic inch Chevrolet engine, similar to the fuel injected engines that you see in the Cup Series. Builders are working with 243 parts in total. The event pairs 12 Hendrick certified master technicians with 12 Hendrick Motorsports Engine Department team members. Two rounds of competition over two days, and each team has a qualifying build with two teams to move to the finals. Then it's kind of like a drag race, and you got penalties and all that sort of stuff. But the thing about it is, I mean, you literally get to see these guys up close and all around and all different kind of angles assembling these engines. Has it surprised you over the years that you guys have been doing this, how good the the non-racing guys have been with building these engines? Yes, and they keep getting better because we, we video it every year and it's on TV or on um, the internet or whatever and so people are able to watch and look closely what other people are doing how they're doing it you know how they might do it different or try it different and then and it, the the field especially from the technician side the Auto, Hendrick Automotive Group just keeps getting better and better and better and we keep seeing return guys too that are really good you know at, well at, we're gonna um we're gonna be talking a lot about this here over the next uh, month or so here on Racing America again it's the 22nd Randy Dorton Hendrick Engine Builder Showdown presented by Valvoline. Two days of competition kicks off Wednesday, November the 8th at 9 a.m. You can see the two-day competition live here on RacingAmerica.tv and HendrickEBS.com. Um, I really appreciate you joining us today, Kevin. I can't wait to to see this again, and, and we'll have a bigger role in it this year, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you for having me. All right, Kevin okay. Weber from a lot of people tune in. Yes, yes, no doubt. Kevin Weber from Hendrick Motorsports, thanks again for joining us. When we come back, we're gonna to talk to Hunter Wright about Pro Late Models at Nashville this weekend. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. (laughs) Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. 
From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands, as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Welcome to RaceFace Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then RaceFace Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Glad to have you here with us on the Bull Ring this afternoon, Alan and Jess uh, with you. And we got um, a lot of great races coming up this weekend, which we'll tell you about in our next segment. But one of those races is at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway, and joining us now is Hunter Wright. Hunter, uh, one of the drivers, again, in the mix for the Pro Late Model Championship. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for having me. Well, we're we're at that point in the season where, uh, you know, at, at this race, you're going to have to make up some ground uh, in the race for the championship, which will end all American 400 weekend. How do you feel heading into, into Saturday's race? Oh, we're excited. You know, we haven't got to race at Nashville and I think it's been actually just a little bit over two months or right at two months. So excited to race back at home again. Uh, we rained out the last time we were supposed to rain that race there and uh, lost the race date because of that. But hopefully we got two races left. We can make up that points gap that we got. Uh, I know I say this every time Hunter's on, but he's one of my, I don't play favorites, but Hunter's one Everybody of my favorites. Everybody on the show's your favorite. Yeah. Oh, well, that's true today. That's yeah. true. Um, and if you want to root for a true grassroots racer, Hunter is your guy. You work so hard every time I see you guys, because I saw you guys, uh, I've seen you down at Pensacola twice this season. You're, it's a family affair. Everyone's, you know, busting their tails and it just it makes me so happy to see you guys you know racing outside of nashville um but you know obviously this is your home track and it's special to you guys so have you been keeping i admittedly stopped keeping up with the um taylor swift and no Travis no i'm still keeping up on that <laughs> the um you know where we're at with the state of the fairgrounds right, racetrack. Right, yeah. So as a driver, are you just tuning that out or have you been keeping up on all that? Uh, living in Nashville, I kind of have to keep up with all of it because it's on the news every couple of days, oh, every is couple it? weeks or whatever. So um, definitely did, did not take a step in the right direction uh, with the new mayor. I, I don't think it's, Sporting is one of the top things that he's worried about, but, uh, you know, they're fighting hard still and uh, still trying to get a deal worked out for next year and beyond. But uh, as far as the future goes, I'm not really exactly sure on everything they've got worked out and everything that they're trying to do. Obviously, being a racer and have going there and growing up there, you want it to stay around and want to keep racing and, and want it to grow and flourish. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just have to wait around and see what happens. As we uh, look ahead uh, to All-American 400 weekend coming up, uh, I think it's November 3rd, 4th, and 5th this year. Uh, as I said, that'll be uh, your last points race uh, for the Pro Late Models that weekend. Uh, just like your regular shows, it'll be 100 laps. How different is that race? And, and with, with being there and being in points battles every year, can you enjoy it to its fullest extent? 
Yeah, I think we do. I, I try not to. Uh, last year, I got a little bit caught up in, in worrying about points and everything, even though I always tell myself I won't, just because it always causes a lot more stress. So I try to never worry about uh, points when we go out and race. We just go out to try and win because we like winning and winning's fun. You know, that's why everybody goes to the racetrack. So uh, hopefully this year, we're going to try to run the Super. We had some issues with it at Pensacola a couple weeks ago when we tried to go run. And uh, that one for sure will be nothing but fun. And it's on its own separate day this year on Sunday all by itself. So definitely going to enjoy that one if we get to run it this year. Well, we'll be watching you again on Saturday. If you can't be at Nashville Fairground Speedway, watch here on Racing American. Of course, the All-American 400 coming up in November. Hunter, uh, good luck this weekend. And we'll be talking to you again soon. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for having me. All right, that's Hunter Wright, and as I said, you'll be able to watch him on Racing America this weekend. When we come back, we'll tell you about another big weekend here with all of our great short track races coming up. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, sprint cars, and sports cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years' experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belts, seats, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schroed belts, shoe helmets and Valero base layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina or Danvers, Massachusetts or check us online at hmsmotorsport.com where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. What creates a winning combination? Quality, focus, discipline, and most importantly, speed. At Pepper Jack Kennels, we provide exceptional water and land training services for hardworking retrievers from leading in the field to leading on the track. Together, we establish winning dogs and a winning team. Devoted to retrievers and motorsports, we are Pepper Jack Kennels. Visit us online to learn more. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five star. The 61st annual Sunoco World Series returns to Thompson Speedway October 6th through 8th. See the biggest short track racers in the Northeast compete in over 10 divisions of grassroots racing. The Outlaw Open Modifieds go for $10,000 to win on Saturday, and the NASCAR Wayland Modified Tour returns for 150 laps on Sunday. It's the World Series of Stock Car Racing, October 6th through 8th at Thompson Speedway. For more information, go to acttour.com. Glad to have you back here with us on the bull ring. Alan and Jess here with you. And, um, you know, we got a lot. Around the corner. I say it every week, don't I? We do have a lot of great race, and well, it just keeps getting better and better and better. How lucky are we? How lucky are we? How lucky are we? Well, around the corner here on Racing America, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Thompson Speedway Motorsports Park, the 61st annual Sunoco World Series. And it is going to be three great days of racing, Jess. Uh, I think like 15 divisions or something. Uh, MRS modifieds on Friday. Outlaw open modifieds on Saturday going for $10,000 to win. Sunday, you have the NASCAR Wheeling Modified Tour. And then tons of other uh, divisions, street stocks, limiteds, uh, mini stocks. Pretty much any the of these. Whole... Uh, 350 New England, or excuse me, New England Super Modified Series. They'll be there. I mean, it's just all kinds of stuff. It's a melting pot. Also, uh, 61st annual. Mm -hmm. That's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. Please get those tickets. Support Thompson Speedway. It's one of those tracks that, uh, you know, is has. I don't want to be. I don't want to say has been struggling, but it's one of those tracks that. Um, 
we don't see as much racing from as we'd like to and when we get those opportunities we need to support them when we can yeah kind of like winchester they don't have like a weekly yep. they rely on these big shows yeah and when i say it and i'll say it again when you purchase your pay-per-view coverage when you're outside of new england because if you're in new england you're gonna go but if you're outside of new england you are helping the the promoters and the and the event so uh please do that if you can Peterborough Speedway up in Ontario. They're also going to be racing Friday through Sunday for their Autumn Colors Classic. Saturday, as we mentioned a little bit earlier, Pro Late Models and other divisions be at Nashville Fairground Speedway. And that is going to be a great weekend of racing action here on Racing America. I just remember that Travis is going to that race. To Nashville helping. Uh, uh, Gavin. Yeah, he's show. running. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Um, so you got, you, Tammy, got any plans this weekend? Besides no. watching all these great races on Racing no. America. You want to hang TV? out? You yeah. going to be around? You can come to my place and we can watch. Okay. Can Tammy? Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're only invited if Tammy and the boys are coming. Uh, okay. They can play with my dog. Yeah. All right. Or you can come to our house and play with our dog. Well, when we come back, we'll talk about our dogs and we'll wrap up another edition of the board. Ready to take your brand to the next level? At Victory Lane Design, we can help. If you are looking for a professional website, cutting edge logo, a hero card that separates you from the pack, or video production to keep you connected with your fans, then check out VictoryLaneDesign.com where winning counts. Don't miss the 21st annual John Blewett III North-South Shootout in memory of Charles Kepley at Caraway Speedway, November 2nd through the 4th. Plus championship races for the Cars Tour Late Model Stock and Pro Late Models. The ground-pounding Tour Type Modifieds race for $10,000 to win. Also racing the 602 Modifieds and more. It's the 21st annual North-South Shootout at Caraway Speedway, November 2nd through the 4th. For reserved tickets, camping, or info, visit carawayspeedway.com. Get up on your feet, race fans! SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Thanks again for being here with us on the Bull Ring today. We want to thank our guests again. Such a great show. William Byron, Gary St. Amont, uh, Kevin joined us from, uh, from uh, Hendrick Motorsports, Kevin Weber, Hunter Wright, and Kyle Bonsignor. Thanks to all those folks for joining us today. And uh, we hope you can watch some of those races here with us this weekend on Racing America. And the other thing I'm happy about, of course, uh, our 24-7 channel on connected devices with lots of great original programming, including coming up here on RacingAmerica.tv tomorrow, 6.30 Eastern time. Uh, we got a Cars Tour race this weekend at South Boston. and uh, we got to prepare for that. You and the lovely J.D. Bowser will be here with us, and we'll have another Cars Tour show. Yeah. I th we, you didn't cancel it no we've we've uh i thought i got fired no 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 we've uh you hadn't done one in a while that's right well, JD I, had, did the last I had to miss the last one yeah and then you know cars tour has kind of been on yeah. a little breaky break they've had a little break but uh, they'll be at south boston this weekend so uh we'll have that and of course they got a few more races uh scattered uh, between now and november the 4th when they end at caraway so Cars Tour Weekly, Thursday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern. For Just Ballard, I'm Alan Deep saying so long. See you next time on the board.